Okay, it's time to compare normalized versus denormalized data. So normalized is a schema designed to store non-redundant and consistent data, whereas denormalized is a schema that combines data so that accessing data or querying it is very, very fast. So when we see tables and relationships, like a relational table where everything is uh, very discreetly uh, organized, this is normalized data. And then on the right-hand side where uh, you could take all those tables on the right-hand side and make them one table, uh, uh, this would be extremely efficient. So on the left-hand side for normalized data integrity is maintained, little to no redundant data, many tables optimized uh, for storage of data. And on the right-hand side, we have data integrity is not necessarily maintained or there's not good controls in place. You have to do extra work to make sure it is in good shape. Redundant data is common, fewer tables, excessive data stored is less optimal. Now, when you're using relational databases, you can use both normalized and denormalized uh, schemas. And when you are using NoSQL, it's a little bit harder, but like there's cases where you can kind of model things like tables, but generally data is denormalized uh, in NoSQL. So there's a bit more challenge with data integrity, but the, the upside is you get a lot more performance, right? So it's just way, way faster at scale.